So how are we bring in the Windows App SDK functionality to all applications? Well, one of the goals with Project Reunion and the Windows App SDK is to really ensure that all applications have access to all the power of Windows. If you've been a Windows developer for the past 10 years, you will know that we've innovated quite a bit in, in the Windows platform, but a lot of that functionality has kind of been locked behind a certain application type, the Windows Universal platform. And so that means your typical C++ or .NET developer hasn't been able to use the latest innovations inside of Windows. Uh, the question is, is now how are we going to make that happen? Uh, with, uh, with Windows, we have innovated and built the uh, MSIX framework packages. And MSIX framework packages are a great technology because they're a shared library that is known and managed by the system. Uh, applications declare a dependency on framework packages and the system ensures that they're installed and available for the application to use. That's how typical packaged applications work, whether you're a UWP application or a desktop bridge application. But how are we bringing that to your Win32 or .NET uh, applications that are not packaged and not distributed with MSIX? And what we're doing here is in the Windows App SDK is we've introduced a new API called Dynamic Dependencies. Dynamic Dependencies is an API your app can call that essentially says, hey, Windows, I want to use this framework package as part of my application. And Windows now knows to keep track of your application and its dependency on this framework package. And so, with the power of Dynamic Dependencies and MSIX framework packages, uh, all applications, whether you're an MSIX packaged app or a Win32 uh, application that's deployed via MSI or even Xcopy, uh, can now access all the power that's inside the Windows App SDK.